Hello guys, and welcome back to How to Feed the Beast in Minecraft. Today, as promised, I'm going to show you how to build and use the Moistener. The Moistener is another machine from the Forestry mod, and it has a couple of uses, but its main purpose, and the reason we're building it today, is we want to use it to turn wheat into mulch, and that's going to be used to automate the production of bog earth. One of the nice things about the Moistener is this is one machine that doesn't require power. However, it does require a water source, so that's something we're going to have to look at as well. Before I show you how to build the Moistener, there's a couple of other things I'd like you to see. Okay, so this is my wheat farm. Now for those of you who watched the video last time with the peat bog, you'll notice the layout of this farm is very similar, and that's because it works in exactly the same way. We've got two machines here in the middle. Instead of a peat bog generator, we have our farm, and instead of putting bog earth in it, we put dirt and seeds, and that will automatically generate the area around us. With tilled earth, it will plant the wheat and put the water down for us. So it works just in the same way that the bog generator does. And instead of having a turbary to harvest peat, we've got a combine, which automatically harvests the wheat and places in this chest the wheat and the seeds. And those seeds can then be put back into the wheat farm to continue planting. Now the reason I'm showing you this is because we are going to need a lot of wheat. You will also notice these pipes coming up out of the ground. Now these pneumatic pipes actually run from the chest of peat in the peat bog and are automatically supplying peat to the engines as they run out. Okay, so we're now in a little area behind our uh, greenhouse, behind the peat bog, and what I've built here is a little 3x3 three three pool, and it has a pump run with a couple of redstone engines. Now I'm going to show you how to build those in the next video, but the reason we've got that here is we need a water supply. So this pump is pumping the water up through some buildcraft pipes and down under the ground. And what we're going to do now is visit the underground section of the peat bog. So, we are now directly beneath the centre of the peat bog. If I look up, you can see that centre square is actually the peat bog. And these are the series of pneumatic pipes that are running from the peat chest up here. And these pipes run off to the wheat farm. They also run off to the uh, engines underneath my workshop. And they basically pump the peat out as required and fill the engines up. Now to build the moistener, the only thing we need to have is a crafting bench. However, building it is a two-stage process, so I'm going to quickly show you just how to put it together. The ingredients you'll need are 8 glass blocks, 32 cobblestone, 16 copper ingots, 24 bronze ingots and 32 sticks. And I'll quickly show you how to put this together. First thing to do, use 8 of the bronze ingots and make a sturdy casing as we have done countless times before. Use the 32 sticks to make 8 wooden gears and then use the 32 cobblestone to make 8 stone gears. With your 8 stone gears you want to turn 4 of them into copper gears, uh, bronze gears sorry for this one Let's pick them all up together. And the remaining stone gears we want to turn into copper gears. So there we go. We now have a sturdy casing, four copper gears, four bronze gears, and eight glass blocks. So the sturdy casing goes in the middle. We take the bronze gears first and place those in the four corners. And we place four glass in each of the spaces. And that gives us a fermenter. But we don't really want to use that machine, so we pop that back in the middle. We then use the copper gears and put those in the four corners, and then the glass blocks in the remaining spaces, and that gives us our moistener. So let's take the moistener back down to the um, underground basement area of the bog. Okay, we're back. So, as I mentioned before, the reason we're actually um, under the ground here apart from the fact that uh, it's easier access to get to the bottom of all our machinery in the peat bog, is the moistener actually needs a dark area for it to work. It doesn't need any power, which is fantastic, but it does need a water supply. And the pump I showed you upstairs, well, this is where the pipe leads. It comes down here into this little room. Now, this room is normally dark, but I've got a torch in here at the moment just so you guys can see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the moistener down here in the corner. 
you can see it's automatically connected up to the pipe and you can see this little blue marker on the left hand side of the moisture slowly going up which means it's filling with water. Now if we right click on the moistener as you can see the water level here on the left is going up and if we look on the right one of the things it tells us here is that it isn't dark enough and we know that because we've got the torch up above so let's just destroy that torch get rid of it. Okay pick the torch up. If we now look at the moistener it's fine. Now as I said the reason we want to use this is we want to create mulch so I'm going to take a small stack of wheat because I don't want this to take all day so we'll just take five wheat for now and we will pop them in here on the left hand side. Now as you can see it's moved one of the wheat into this space here but nothing else is happening and the reason for that is you need to have either some cobblestone or some stone bricks and place them in this slot on the top right. Now once you do that these arrows will start to process and as you can see the wheat is now being turned into mouldy wheat and this actually happens quite quickly. Now while this is happening you can also see this arrow on the right hand side is going up. When this arrow gets all the way to the right hand side it will turn one of those stone bricks into mold, uh, mossy stone bricks. If you use cobblestone it will turn it into mossy cobblestone and you can use that as building material later on. But you need to have those in there for this process to work. Okay, now the mouldy wheat is starting to be turned into decaying wheat. Now this process takes a little bit longer, so I'll skip forwards here. Okay, so all of our mouldy wheat has now been turned into decaying wheat, and now it's starting to turn that decaying wheat into mulch. Now this is the end product that we actually want to get here. This is the whole purpose of us having this machine. At the same time, this arrow on the right hand side is still working its way towards turning the stone bricks mossy. Okay, so this machine's now finished making the five mulch for us, so I'll take those out of the machine and put the rest of the wheat in so it can be getting on with those. Now what I've got here behind me, back underneath the peat bog, is another carpenter, exactly the same as the one that we built in the second episode. And it has an engine, a peat-fired engine, with a lever to turn it on, and again, one of these pipes actually supplying peat to the engine as required. Now another thing we've got here, as you can see, the blue indicator shows that the carpenter is full of water and instead of pumping it in with a bucket I've actually got a pipe which you can just about see underneath which is coming in from the pump upstairs so this same pipe splits off just here goes down under the ground and comes up to my carpenter. So instead of having to make our bog earth manually in a crafting table using dirt blocks, sand blocks and buckets of water we can now make it in a carpenter using dirt blocks, sand blocks and mulch. All we have to do is put the recipe here in the top left hand side the same as we do with any carpenter recipe supply the carpenter with power and water which we are and put the materials we have here in the bar at the bottom and as you can see the carpenter is now creating bog earth for us there we go so we've already used all of the bog earth we had we now have um, 40 blocks of bog earth from the little bit of mulch. As you can see it does use the water quite quickly. This is why it's important to have a, a water supply coming in. But the whole purpose of doing this is using some more pneumatic pipes we can actually output the mulch from the moistener directly into the carpenter and we can output the bog earth from the carpenter up through this hole in the floor and connect it to the bottom of the peat bog. So thanks again for watching this video, as usual I hope you've enjoyed it and found it both entertaining and informative. If you have enjoyed it, please as usual like, subscribe and share. In the next video as promised I will be showing you how I built the pump and the redstone engines to power it that we are using to supply water to our moistener and our carpenter. And if you've got any ideas or suggestions for machines or items you'd like to have me build and demonstrate in future episodes, please either send me a message or leave a comment in the box below. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.